hope you enjoyed today. One of the great snowman snows of all time. That was a heavy, wet, packing snow that was out there. Obviously weighing down the trees and the power lines because essentially it was concrete disguised as snow. It was thick. As we go through the night tonight, a lot of the stuff that we've had around, we've got some flurries that have been passing through. They're going to go away. Uh, the morning, I'll even have some sunshine, but there will be some icy patches around. As temperatures drop into the upper 20s, we'll be into the upper 30s as the clouds are thickening up at lunchtime tomorrow. And by the middle latter part of tomorrow afternoon, flurry, sprinkle, maybe even out and out snow showers a possibility with temperatures just around 40, almost 15 degrees below normal. And we're not going to get any better here anytime soon. Let's go ahead and talk about it. We take you out of the Max Track Live Doppler and you are looking at what are a mixture of some rain showers. There could be some snow showers, especially along I-64. They're going over to Rowan into Fleming County flurries. Uh, northern part of Kentucky, the same. That's likely rain, though, as you look toward Estill County. That's a sprinkle more than anything else. For the snow, it was a top 10 daffodil destroyer. In fact, we're going to give this the moniker, the great daffodil destroyer of 2018. Had lots of flowers around, and they all just got squished. Middle of the week, there's another cold shot coming. The eight day, there's not a whole lot of spring. And this was a heavy, wet snow. We're talking 6 to 10 inches in a pretty broad area, with I-64 as a fairly close northern boundary and then extending to the south, uh, just about to the knobs there as you get in towards, say, Jackson, northern part of Rock Castle County, continues back into Boyle County, even to the far southwest as Taylor County. Some of the snowfall totals officially for Lexington, 9 inches. We'll get to the significance of that in a second. Across Fayette County, though, there was a variability, 5 to 10 inches of snow across the county. My house, I shoveled five and a half, but there may have been a little bit of compaction before I actually got around to shoveling this morning because, again, it was heavy and thick. It just started to weigh in on itself. Uh, Madison County, 6 to 10. Clark County, 6 to 10. Garrett County, Boyle, Estill, 6 to 8. 4 to 8 across Powell, about the same in Lee. And you see lesser amounts as you move to the north and west Scott and Franklin counties under a half foot. All right, December through February, that's meteorological winter. We totaled 7.6 inches of snow for the winter. In about eight hours last night, we doubled it and then some. With that nine inch total, it gives us 16, almost 17 for the snow year. We're average now after being in the lower third going into this. Lexington, the three inches of snow on Sunday, the six inches today makes nine inches total. That's the 10th snowiest March all by itself. The six inches today, the ninth snowiest March day. Just a half inch behind the storm of the century in 1993 for Lexington. Obviously, that snow in 93 was much bigger in southeast Kentucky. But look at that. That was from earlier today as the clouds departed and the snow blanket was left behind. That was really cool. Watch how this all pivots around Lexington. That's why the snow thumped essentially in central Kentucky. The storms, basically, there were two different ones that phased into one. And when that happened, it just sat and spun for a little while. And that's what got the heavy snow totals. Tonight, again, some flurries are wandering around as another nor'easter is cranking up. That is going to bury folks up across parts of New England. Meanwhile, we've got a secondary push of colder air coming south. That brings with it tomorrow another batch of snow showers and flurries. Temperatures right now a little bit above freezing. We'll drop into the upper 20s under a cloudy sky, and a few flurries are around. And 40 tomorrow. Flurry sprinkles or a snow shower. Mid 30s on Wednesday after a morning low in the low 20s. We do rebound to the low 50s on Thursday, but rain comes in Friday, off and on into St. Patrick's Day Saturday.